Hello, welcome back to more Pikmin 2. Last time I had a very bad time in the Frontier Cabin. This time, uh, I said I was going to be heading to the Awakening Wood, and uh, I'm going to prove myself a lie. I'm actually going to fall. Um, <laughs> because um, there's a relatively easy cave here that I left behind, and because it, it, this is kind of better information, but I'm only doing one more video today. I'll do more later. But I don't want to like get partway through a cave, and I also don't want to just avoid caves entirely. So I'm like, let's find a simple one to start out with, like immediately, and then you know maybe clean out the day after that. So Citadel Spiders was recommended. Anyway, um, could do twenty of each if you want. Um, the cave does not have any poison or water hazards, though. Well, I'm assuming I'm gonna need blues to get like above ground treasures, so. I suppose. You were doing that after the cab, though, right? Yeah. How would you feel if a Gryffindor cat... Okay. How would you feel if a Gryffindor cat... Where's the... Oh. Alright, let's hear it. Uh, pause... It's just go for, go for, like just leave this starting area and go left, and there it is. It's oh, yeah. just okay. right there with the happy face shape. I was trying to listen for Ein Here we go. Oh, there's the spiral music. We have found the cave. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the skitter leaves will carry Pikmin into the water during the cutscene. Yeah. Program terminating bugs. My game will be over. Well, I don't <clears> need <throat> most of these things, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> this is the level that will always be referred to as the Cave of Spadoiters. Yes. That was probably what I was gonna name the segment. Right. But I don't I don't like saying the segment name in the video unless it's like spontaneous. And yeah. then I name it later. I, I hate I don't like being like, I'm pretty gonna name this blah. Because one, if I'm wrong, then it's just awkward. And two, it feels like when a song has the name of the song in the lyrics. I always find that really cheesy. <laughs> I feel like usually a song should just be named after like the most notable like but that that's cheesy though, that's the problem. Jesus Christ, that did a lot of damage. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh. Cheese and rice, Mooney! I don't see how it's cheesy. It's like... Uh, it just makes you... me cringe. <laughs> That's so dumb, though. Like I don't, I feel like you know if you're gonna have a song with like it's a like hook a, it's like it's like a title drop in a, in a movie it's like wow Link we really are the breath of the wild it, to me there's That's... no difference <laughs> uh, I I think there's a pretty big difference to me the only difference would be if you consider um well, what's it called uh songs to be like a lesser art form it's like oh it doesn't matter if it's cheesy I don't know I, well, I, no, call, I call it a hot is... take if you want but <laughs> okay. I feel like the difference is, you know, with a movie, you have, like, a whole story happening, and you're naming the movie after, presumably, like, you know, a theme of it, or, you know, like, a major plot. Asshole! Gonna die. Like, a major plot element or something. And usually you're not gonna be, like... Y you're not gonna find a way to like throw it in there unless it's just like a common term anyway in which case then it's fine whatever um but then like you know with songs I guess it, it depends on like what but you can just you can is, just do the it's... same thing for the song though. just name it off for like a theme but if it's like if it's like a pop song where you've got like well you pop know, songs a are cheesy, common so thing <laughs> Like, you know, I don't listen to music at all, but it's just... To me, I, f I feel like it's helpful more than anything. It's like, <laughs> because you can hear the song and be like, okay, this is the thing they said most often in the song, so that's probably the name of I it. I guess. 
I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a snob about it because okay, it's, I'll admit one of the main reasons I have this opinion is because I was never really into music at all, especially not like you know from music like with lyrics and stuff until I was a teenager and I got into a band called Area Eleven and their very first album was all songs that were like based on anime like they there this was just a love nugget by the way okay you know there's, these were shows that they liked and they made songs about them and they named the songs something that was honestly usually not even directly relevant to the anime any either it was just kind of a name that fit the notion and of, or the you know the plot of what the song was about kind of alluded to that maybe it was a bit of a reference uh, but they usually would not say the line in the song, and I always liked that. It felt kind of classy, you know, as classy as you can get for a silly anime songs, right? Um, but I, I, I liked that. I liked knowing, okay, this song is called, you know, Euphemia, because it's about a character called Euphemia, but the name is not mentioned in the song, because it would be really... It would it would take, like... You can listen to the song as a standalone, and then if you if you know what the anime is about, it adds to it. But if, if the song is mentioning all this shit from the anime, they have no idea what the fuck it is if you haven't yeah, seen it's the like, show. Yeah, it's really like, you're describing this thing, it's like, by the way, this is about you feeling Yeah, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 you know, just putting it in the title works. That's like the thing you look at to be like, okay, I know what this is about, and then the rest you just figure it out. Um, and so, you know, that was all fine. And then they stopped doing anime music, and they started doing just songs based on, like, actual things that, you know, <laughs> like actual themes and kind of their own ideas. And, uh, you know, those songs were, were fine, but they started just naming pretty much all of them just after, like, a line in the song. And I was, I, I was kind of disappointed. I'm like, I, look, I you know, I, I wish. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a huge deal, but I was like, I preferred it when they, when they used the titles. Um, yeah. And so that's kind of why I have a chip on my shoulder about it. I guess I probably shouldn't hold everybody to that particular standard. It's, it, it you're right. It does depend on this kind of song. Um, but, uh. <laughs> Point is, I'm right. So <laughs> this can be also one of those. Wrong with Abba. Listen, th fuck off. Listen, this can just be one <laughs> of those things that I am, you know. The hey, I, there's I, a million I, things I that I on, have very it's stupid illogical. opinions on. So yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Okay. This is why my, uh, you know, if if my personality that I have now had been developed as a teenager, and if yearbook quotes were a thing at my school, my yearbook quote would have been, I may say things that I do not personally believe <laughs> to be true. Awesome. Were well, yearbook quotes not a thing when you were in high school? No. Not, huh. not mine, at least. Interesting. Uh, they, they definitely aren't a thing at like in secondary schools here, or at least they weren't at mine, um, because we don't have yearbooks. I don't- I actually don't really understand what a yearbook is. <laughs> it's just kind of a thing to, you know, it, there's- part of it is it just has photos of all the students and faculty, mm -hmm. um, so it's like something you can look back at and be like, you know, this is what my friends look like this year or whatever. Uh, um, but they, they also have- fun. they usually will have, like- I like the pointfulness of this, uh, at that end. They'll highlight like events that happened that year, and like I don't know, just you know, uh, th this. I, this, I, I, this I feel of... like I feel like at all school the same events happened every year, and so there's no point in even. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it'll always be like, you know, I didn't do any extracurricular, so I don't have any good good examples to give, but it'll be like you know, this is here's a couple pages about the basketball team and like their season here's a couple pages about this play that was put on oh. by the drama team like just that type of stuff like, i guess that's fair enough i i don't really have any um Ugh. <laughs> yeah asshole i don't really have any memorabilia from my time at school actually so maybe uh maybe that actually would have been a good idea I have a couple of my yearbooks, I because you know I lost most of my stuff, but yeah. uh, I've, I've at least got the one from my last year. Oh wait, no, there's no reason to use blue stairs though. Where are my kids?
Uh, let's see. Do these things shoot um, fire? These they fighters? don't shoot it. They just kind of emit it downwards. I see. So here's my here's my strategy for fighting dweebles. Um, get rid of the purples first of all. But uh, what? Oh, right, because they dropped something. I hate that um, I find that these are easiest to fight if you s stand like in their shadow, like underneath them, and throw the pick straight up onto them from below. Okay. It does. It seems to deal more damage, and it's like more accurate. Picture here, you not doing that at all. I tried to. You wouldn't let me. Also, I don't think you're fireproof, so yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it only does it when it dies. I see. No, you got lucky there. Usually, they'll just do it when they get pissed off enough. Huh. And uh, you know, for the red, blue, and white ones, or I guess they're purple, not white. Um. You can just call Pikmin back when they get attacked, but uh, the yellow ones will be instant death, so you gotta be careful with those. Yeah, okay. Also, the purple ones just have more health for some reason. I really don't know mm. why. Okay. <laughs> also, there are some eagles under the floor. Oh shit, Paradoxical Enigma. You scared me. I, th I thought you saw something, but... <laughs> I mean, you saw something, but I thought it was, like, a problem. <laughs> Important, yeah. Come on, dude. You also haven't had to deal with the Dweevil's other behavior yet, which is uh, more just annoying than anything. Mm -hmm. Do you notice the one red? Nope. Okay, trying that again. <laughs> Grill. When you said grill, I thought you meant that there was a girl Pikmin with, with the purples, and I'm like, what? <laughs> you, you mean a white? Because we established that female because they're Swifter? Yeah. Um, I think that's a new item. Oh, so the European version? Yeah. There weren't any in the last cave. Mm -hmm. Did I take damage from nothing? I think from the fire attack. But I wasn't underneath it. <laughs> the fuck? I was uh, very I careful. You were close enough. I don't That's know. bullshit. Wait, I thought they—I thought they did it when they die. No. I know. You, I know you. Okay. I know you. Just to clarify. I know you said they don't always do it when they die. I thought that meant. Oh, sorry. No, I know you said they do it. At other times, but I thought it was still always when they die, sometimes other times. Yeah, it's usually when they die, but not always. It's. They're inconsistent. Mm -hmm. We love inconsistency. Yeah, lip service. Good. Then. I'm just reminded of the monster that looks like a giant lipstick from, uh, the fucking Power Rangers fighting game on Super Nintendo. <laughs> uh, and now I'm thinking of a Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> okay. I like Ninja Baseball Batman. It's good. Okay. I see we have a slow bait. Yep. This is the new one? Yep. Sin Alco. Looks like a... Oh, what the fuck? fuck? The activity Arouser used to be the name for the, uh... I think the Wilson Tennis Can Lid. Lid. Sin the, the logo of this makes it look like it's, like, you know, bubbly, like some kind of fizzy drink. Hmm. Okay, yeah, activity Arouser was the tennis Oh thing. shit! Um, the rubber duck. It's Joel. Yep. Oh, look! Here he comes! It's Joel! Okay, according to... Uh, yeah, this is the paradoxical enigma. Um, okay, so apparently in new play control Pikmin 2, the European activity arouser is called the activity booster. Hmm. I don't know why they bother changing that. So the thing I just got was changed to your ability booster on the Wii version. Yes. Good. Um... 
Let's see. So what is Sinalco? Uh, German soft brink. Soft brink. brink. Yeah. <laughs> soft brink of destruction. Looks like just uh, I think like fruit flavored sodas or something. Okay. Uh, now they've got a cola. I don't know. They've got a few different things. Okay. A In the switchboard, the treasure is an unbranded lid. Mm. Yeah. How boring. We can make that at least put up like a. Fake. Yeah. No minimum, uh, minimum effort. All right, time for more. Uh... <laughs> you remember the name? Oh God. Uh... It was. <laughs> Um, I know it was galvanized something or like galvanic. Yeah, galvanic. Um, why can I not think of the other word? Uh, uh, sodomites, I guess. Yeah, yeah, the sodomite. Come on, dude. Too dangerous for me to send anything else against it. What does it? Uh... What does it mean for something to be galvanic? Uh, I don't actually know. Or galvanized, because Homestar, you know, trusts Capedia that uh, galvanized nails are the way to go for building a deck. But, uh... <laughs> I don't really know. I first learned it when looking up what galvanical is named meant on Bulbapedia. So, galvanized know, means uh, coated different. with a protective layer of zinc. Uh oh, that doesn't sound right. Galvanic is relating to or involving electric currents. Okay, so yeah, that's basically exactly the word I was looking for. Sorry, electric currents produced by chemical action, specifically. Oh, okay, I see. Very important distinction. Okay, now that we've dealt with those, is there anything else? It can also we... mean sudden oh, and more dramatic. Than that, actually. Yeah. I like this. Sudden and dramatic, and then the example sentence is, hurry with awkward galvanic strides. What? First oh, of all, fuck. not a sentence. <laughs> I didn't know these could just summon fucking snitch bugs. Uh, I think that might have been unrelated. Oh, but the egg didn't drop anything. Oh. <laughs> Unless it did, and we just didn't see it. I don't think it did. Okay, right. Uh, moving right along. I think I would like. No, what? Why was that so big? I didn't mean. Good job. Okay, dude. Dude. Okay. Right. Oh, uh, what? They lied. What? There's a picture of the Switch version of the Activity Ariser, and it totally does have a logo. Oh. Weird. What does it say? Tarai. T A R A I. Huh. What? And there's a fucking item in the Japanese version called Milky Team. <laughs> How I is can't. it a team? It's a fucking <laughs> lid. That's awesome. Is is it like how Pity and uh, Flash are a vegetable team? <laughs> yeah. My name is Bon Jovi, and I'm here to die. <laughs> My name is Bon Jovi, and I'm here to die. Yeah. Uh, Dennis Scherhoff is coming down. Coming down. Ah, shit. Okay. Swarm! I see that the obsession with dinosaur chicken nuggets has uh, gotten to a point where now we're making pillows shaped like dinosaur shaped <laughs> chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Come on. Bro. Bruh. Jesus Christ. 
Let's they see. are uh, belligerent and numerous. Yes, indeed. These all these things always come in sets of like sixteen. Hmm. The last one will stay alive. Okay. This is a boring cave. Yeah, yeah, not a lot going on. Probably would have been a good time to talk about something, but uh, I guess we still could. I was kind of. I, I have had a topic. Is, in I my, never have anything going. Well, on. I've I've had a topic in my back pocket, um, but I kind Fish of don't pocket. know if I want to bring it up now when we have only two floors left. Yeah. All right. If it's lengthy that. enough, I guess not. Because it's something you can <clears throat> put on, and there's facets to it. Just the water chestnuts. No. Break! Break! What is this? Uh... I don't know. It looks It Asian. looks like the water chestnuts, but it's, uh, it's not. Oh, what oh. the hell? <laughs> I, I was just... I was just fucking around. Anyway, I wanted to be on top of it. Is that an oyster shell? Yep. Okay. And there's three shells in the game, and I remember the names of two of them, and not this one. <laughs> Good. Unless, I, don't, I was tempted to say, is this the mirrored stage, but no, that's something else. Oh, it's Salmon, okay. Apparently. Is not in the US version? Nope. <laughs> what do you mean, open architecture? Because, because it's open Break. on the top? Break day. <laughs> That's absolutely a Japanese. Oh, what does it say at the bottom? Akebono. Okay, so it's the same thing. So it's like Akebono salmon. So. All right. And oddly enough, this one is only in the PAL version, not the Japanese one. Win. Where's the shell? Let's go. Yeah, I don't remember this one. Oh, that's 70% of the debt. Yeah. <laughs> Did you touch the th plant? What? Gotta make sure to touch the plant, it's what important. Plant? Just these plants. There, you touch the plant. <laughs> what does it do? Um, there are certain plants that show up in the Piclopedia that will only show up if you touch them. <laughs> okay. One of the plants is a Christmas tree light. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so many enemies to throw on the ground. Like this, and this, and this, and even this. Around. Oh no, I've been spoiled. What? Oh, and a few Because I'm on the Pikmin wiki, and uh, yeah, looking. there's a... Uh, well, there, it was a side it listed under <laughs> popular pages. There was some weird-looking thing. I'm like, okay, what is this? Oh, it's the first okay, boss so of you don't, you don't it. Oh, I see. I thought you meant you got spoiled on a European treasure. <laughs> oh, it's uh, fine if I get spoiled by Pikmin 4, though. Okay. Um... Me, 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 me. I guess... What if the next floor is a spider? Oh, no. It is entirely possible. It may not actually be possible. Delve deep edge. Gonna, gonna get a hoodoo. Probably not gonna get a hoodoo. Okay, I'm gonna actually get a hoodoo. <laughs> Citadel of Spinoidus. Wee! Alright, what we got? Boop. I bet if I took too long to whistle them, the, they would just randomly latch onto the fire jet. Yeah, probably. Is there anything at all behind this fence? There is an egg, apparently. Can you solve my invisible egg? <laughs> uh... 
I didn't. I didn't uh, ask you to break this egg. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember if that was the correct thing to do. Yeah, yeah. You're good. <laughs> Greedy buggers. Okay. The freak out bugs. Oh my tides, they're fucking weird. I fu I hate that noise because it's the same noise they make when they die, right? Before yes. they go. I guess you could argue that they're dying and being reborn, but like. Haha, uh. <laughs> what do you think it would feel like to go into a candy pop, bud? Haha. <laughs> I was going for a flend. Flend. People have made fun of me for flend. What's wrong with them? They're like, uh, you, you miss, you, you misspoke. You said flend. <laughs> you you, of you meant to, you, you accidentally put a hell scum my bomb shop instead of welcome to my bomb shop. <laughs> Oh hey, you, for you, you, you forgot to you forgot to set the under combo here. <laughs> Is that us theorizing what people might say about a later area in BA3? Uh yes. Sort of. Good. It, I believe it was a, a detail you told me about that was intentional, yeah. and I'm like, that's cool, but I bet some people won't get it and it will file a bug report. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit, we already spoiled it. I know. <laughs> Speaking of which, so we should probably get back to that soon. It, I'm, I don't think we're meeting the, uh... Well, by now you'll know, I suppose, if the video is out. Uh, I was hoping we could try to get out another trailer one no, year No, 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 bad. Okay. I... <laughs> okay. Go on. Um, well, okay, I guess we'll come back to the other topic in a minute. Yeah, um, with these, you want to do the waving the cape at the bull strategy to basically get it to come out. Um, it's going to lunge forward way farther than you think it will, and then attack it on the way back. Okay. Also, this is the main character of the game, according to the US box art. <laughs> Good. Um, what is that? Like most, but, uh, most most enemies I've heard the name of before, even if I haven't connected the dots. But I can usually see and be like, oh yeah, it's an NOB. It's a lot. Oh, that's a Joust Knight. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Hermit Cromad. Ah, I imagine those are being bigger. They vary wildly in size. Uh, for some reason. Okay. Um. So anyway, I will. Uh, I will counter your point by saying that we are. Uh, are also aiming to get Wizard Kid back up by the 31st. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't want to have two things due at the end of the month. That's fair. But, uh... Well, Wizard Kid only requires... Well, I was about to say it doesn't require any work, but that's not true. It, we, we, we have to do a chapter, yeah. you know, just a video. Uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, we, we should still aim to get get a um, trailer out soon. I just... Uh, this I summer, probably. I don't think it needed to specifically be by no, the I just July. it would just be nice to... I don't know. I I like anniversaries, and I know you do too. But I guess I guess you know one year after the previous trailer is not much of an anniversary. Yeah, not really. Okay. Uh, I got a couple fire jets. Oh oh oh! I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Get away! Get away! Get away! I say! Get away! I say! Okay. I guess I should try to fight it with reds. Um. You could. Uh, Where is it exactly? Do a top-down camera. And uh, what I like to do with these if I'm not swarming is... Okay. Shit. I was going to say, like, you know, get close enough for it to start coming at you like it did there. And then basically have your cursor lined up so that it'll pass over it and start throwing, like, when it's in range of that. Mm -hmm. You want to just try to get a couple onto its back. Yep. Okay. Well. Yeah. What have we got over here? Uh. Okay. 
Sure, you, you can be. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. Uh, that guy can be uh, exploring Xavier. And, and that's spelled, you know, apostrophe X P L O R P L O R I N apostrophe. Did you already collect Xavier. the chocolate? I didn't even know. Yes, yeah, yeah, I did. I don't remember what it was called. I somehow just didn't see it <laughs> at all. Damn, okay. Yeah, I got it. I probably left behind Louie, but got everything else. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what that one's called. Okay, and I'll go over the ledge. It will probably go over the ledge. You just have to, you have to, st you have to stay within its range for like a second or so. You can't, yeah. Okay. I see. All right. On the upside, these things, like you know, if you're not worried about deathless, um, they can at least only kill one Pikmin at a time. I see. But uh, they're kind of vestiges. I especially love when they grab Pikmin through walls. Hmm. Sounds fantastic. Me likes putting them on the other side of walls. <laughs> I like how quickly Pikmin can destroy walls when they all do it simultaneously. Yeah. Yes? I passed several over it. Uh. Okay, um, what else we got? Flave. Oh, right. Okay. There's just the one dump hole. Yeah. Which you can swarm. You sure? Yeah. As long as you're really? aware of where it is. And you're gonna get interrupted by treasure cutscenes, too, so. That's fine. Added challenge. Well, I heard it attack the Pikmin, so. Fine, I'll wait. I'm gonna run out of time. God damn it. Yep. There's the Flame of Tomorrow. Bowsage. Good. What does he say? Bowser breath brand. Bowser sourpuss bread. <laughs> All toasters. Toast toast. And I don't remember what the other one is called. It's like time capsule or something. I already it's forgot I was like... transporting something else. <laughs> Okay. A lot of time capsule was too generic. <laughs> and then I guess as soon as I get this, we'll be good. There's a little Would you eat a crystal base uh, if it existed? Probably not. I Considering mean, they only seem to serve fried onions, <laughs> yeah, probably not. I mean, I guess I have I had might... the real life onion burst. It is good, but it's not really a meal. Yeah. I don't know if if we if we if we were like on a road trip and we stopped somewhere else for lunch. And then we kept going, and then we were kind of, you know, we wanted like a little something something, but not like a full meal. You know, we can stop against some onion rings. I guess. <laughs> Honey maple ranch dipping sauce. <laughs> I would try the cookie bread. <laughs> Two whites smoking out by the back like shit here. Yep. Alright, well, boss time. I bet you'll never guess what the boss is. Um, Toadie Bloister. <laughs> Not even a boss. Yes. <laughs> Alternatively, the, the Bready Bloister. Yes. <laughs> that noise. Um, should probably investigate by myself first. Some problem, boy. The boss arena is obvious. You don't have to worry about it. You know, shanking up on your back stair. Good phrase. Asshole. 
Good. Well. Shanking up on your back stair. Guess I'll bring the picks because it's safe. And... This might also be the only boss floor with, like, a hidden treasure on it. Huh. Where is that thing? Nope, no, 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 no. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, I don't boy. believe in the word dividends. It will pay dividends. We'll pay Dog dimma 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 Ovaltine. This game should have had Ovaltine in it. Um, what we got? Just run into the middle. I want to land on me. I don't think it can do damage. Okay. So this is a uh, yellow sit yellow business, right? Um, yeah, you, you don't have to, but they're the easiest at hitting it. I remember the strategy. Immoral animal husbandry. <laughs> Where I saw it step straight on. One, I so. thought I did too. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh shit. Yeah, it doesn't always only do four, but it usually does them in sets of four. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Wait, no, the game's gonna crash. I'll pick that yep. up. <laughs> uh, okay. Disintegration, no bleeding. Yes, that's all the way <laughs> over there, thank you. <laughs> and it's sweet! Because <laughs> it actually stole the whole thing, I thought it like got, you know, converted down into juice. What is that glittering widget? Wait, does it say it's analyzing its soil samples like it's poop? I don't think- I think this is like a ratio of 99% treasure to 1% poop. Like... I, I am genuinely kind of worried this is gonna crash the game, so I guess that's safe to It's not going to. See, I thought that it might crash the game- I couldn't remember how this game worked. I thought it was like the final treasure in the game. It did that because it had some like like weird ending stuff associated with it or something. No, in um, this thing has multiple purposes. It, I'll explain it in a second here. I do not see a very like a place for a buried treasure. I guess I'll use the tracker once this, this thing is. Uh... I like the name of this one. It's just the key. <laughs> but I forgot I got its own unique uh, collection noise too. What is so special about this thing? What? What? Oh. <laughs> I think this might actually be that what inspired sense. the bonus level in BA2. Like the like unlocking it through a random cave. That's kind of I never thought of that, but I think that might be it. But anyway, yeah, so it's challenge mode. Um in not be challenge fun. mode itself. Which is a shame because it's fun. Um, but, uh, anyway, yeah, it's, in challenge uh, mode itself, it, uh, there is a key on every single floor. Um, you have to collect it to access the next floor or when on the final floor to finish the cave. Um, 
I don't know why it crashed its Colossal Cavern. I guess because... They're probably using the data associated with challenge mode. Because the thing is, like, it spawns the exit geyser when you collect it. But then it just crashes as soon as it does that. Well, here's the other thing. is It only does it for you guys, right? Like, under no, normal I've, circumstances. No, I think it does it for other people. But the game is supposed to be able to finish and give you some results, right? I think. Here we go. No? I think you gotta throw him up onto the ledge. Oh, uh, that makes sense, okay. Honya, honya, honya. Honyik. Honyik. <laughs> yeah, throw more. More! Was that just a diamond? Yeah. Give me more. <laughs> I don't remember this one. Stellar Diamond or something? No, I just already said Stellar for something else. I don't fucking know. Regal. Ah. Uh, I don't think I have any leaves to use this on, so... Nope. What the blood sandwich? <laughs> okay. Heading on out. Heading out to the gym. And immediately, I'm gonna have to deal with the Wollywog. No, it'll put you at the shed. Oh, really? No. Oh. Cave complete. Everybody knows. Everybody get up and sound a slinger now. Fuck. Uh, 70% complete, or did we already hit that? I think we already hit that. Nope. Okay. So there's uh there's just kind of a few items around. Uh <laughs> I would recommend killing the uh oh, the shearwigs that have most oh. likely respawned. Where, where would those be? Just kind of generally in front of the base and like to the right near the bridge. Swarm? They're they're just kind of around, yeah. There might be more by the bridge. No. No. Back here. Uh, by the bridge, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, a couple treasures near you already. Um, you'll want yellows for both of them, though. Uh, like through across the bridge? Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, cabbage time. Hmm. Eh, I'm not having anybody. Let's see. Potatoes ain't never know, did nothing. Those were almost words. This is going well. It's probably easier to just throw them up there. Nobody peace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What have we got? You know, geometry. Yeah, apparently. Okay. <laughs> They're like landing on the thin air next to the platform and then walking yeah. into it. Okay, this isn't gonna make them walk through where the blowhog is, right? Uh, they'll at least be near it, but yeah, just keep an eye on them. I think there was a treasure up there in Pikmin 1 that you got basically. Actually, no, it wasn't the same way, because I think that one you had to use like a geyser. You geyser better not. You better fucking. <laughs> right, um. Uh, there's another one that also takes yellows in that same area. What would it be, House? That's not what I was trying to do. Sure it was. Piddle the dot then, piddle the dot thing. Alright, what, what else can I do? Uh... 
take the yellows back over there, and then I guess just follow the treasure gauge. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like Louis should be doing something, but I don't know what. Nah, it's not really that viable. Okay. I like how we're... It, it, was it was taking up a large portion of the camera. Oh. Sorry. I still didn't see it. Well, it's not over here. What the fuck is it? Oh my god. Bad timing. Uh, shit, what is this one called? Oh, no, this is the Gherkin Gate. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, pickle jar lid. Oh. Okay. Makes sense. Like Vlasic, it's a good name. Yeah. I'm worried Shit, about that. Is that one of the mascots from Food Fight? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh. Yes, it was. Anyway, uh, sorry. Is it yeah, the corrugated go... iron thing? No. Go up towards up upright from your current camera angle. Oh. Fantastic. Just try not sucking. Pikachu, try winning. <laughs> okay. What do you mean I have stragglers? Um, wait. Okay. For a second, I was worried about the water, yeah. but. Dimensional oh, slicer. Oh boy, rocks. What? They've what? gotten distracted by rocks. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see. I assume I can use blues for something, right? Yep. If you want to check out the flooded area to the left of the ship, there's a yeah. enemy there, and yeah. Ooh, that is a Cody Bloister, right? Do I just want to attack it? Uh, specifically its tail. They're pretty slow and unthreatening. You just you need to make fly? sure that... Like, they can kill stuff. Um, you just don't want to stay away from its front side. Oh, it's not the... What did I call that thing? Dimensional Slicer. Shit, what is the Dimensional Slicer, then? I think it's like a different type of can opener. Well, that didn't work. I like the impediment scourge. Um. Yeah, call them back. They're... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You have to. Well, I don't know. I just. How was having to the Kessler? Okay, so you basically want to get right next to it. Even then, that's not working. What the fuck? I mean, it's kind of working, it's just being slow. I, there's no way it's supposed to be this slow. Okay, I finally managed to get stuff onto it and it just shook them off. Yeah, it'll do that. Okay, now it's time to get some progress. Jeez, this thing's weird. It has not tried to attack yet. Oh, I kind of figured it just wouldn't. Like, maybe only if things are carrying stuff, or... Really? Yeah, Benjamin. Alright. Damn, that thing dropped a lot. <laughs> yeah. How the hell do I get yellows over here? Uh, there's a way. Ah, but, gotcha. anyway, I guess let's, uh, collect some of the shit. Um, yeah. Can always take these up to land and then have the yellows grab them, so. Yeah. I don't remember what the bother is called. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> I 
I'm sure. not a real fan. Mom wouldn't give me any real food. Why are only 17? Why can't only one go? Uh, the other three, I guess, carried, like, the okay. bakeberry bugs or something. I don't know. Bakeberry bugs and bakeberry clowns. Alright. I thought it was something similar to that, but I was thinking, like, naval mine or something. Hmm. Hmm. I like the Pikmin just scattered fucking everywhere. Yeah, let's uh, let's clean this up a bit. We have a bit of time. Opinion on Santas. <laughs> With an apostrophe. No, I was actually gonna make a joke about that. You want me to press that button? I, okay, so I'm now thinking like the the phrase "opinion on Santa's" with an apostrophe is basically uh... asking, "What is your opinion on Santa's opinion?" <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, oh. Um. So much piss assing. Yeah. <laughs> I like this assing. I it's not as good as terror assing. Oh shit. What? Asshole. Oh my god. Well, we have allowed other deaths. That's Ben. <laughs> appropriate, I guess. Uh, I'm not I'm not finding an old save state for that guy. He... Yes. <laughs> Unfortunate, but not the only death. Sad but true. Ah! Mm. No. I have a good way of doing that. Like, I don't want to stomp because it hurts uh, my foot. I've thrown my shoe a couple, like, a couple times. It's not a good solution either. Where the fuck uh, is the base there? Yeah. I wasn't sure if it, what you were doing. I was looking for the base to get the yellow. I'd like to build yeah. this bridge if I can. Uh, which bridge? The one to the electric fence? Yeah. I guess I could just send everybody over there. Right? Uh, you'll want to probably do blues. This was the part that uh, confused me on the Wii version because I didn't. He didn't have C stick. I think he had a C stick equivalent though, right? Uh, I don't remember. Probably. And here they all are about to fly off. So be mindful. Okay. What? 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 One died. Nope. No, it didn't. No, it did. What do you mean? Well, you went down to 99, and I heard a Pikmin go wham. But the 99 was... But that was because of the Ben earlier. No, because there's a yellow sprout. Oh. I think one of the blues just fucking clipped through the ground and died. Well, ain't nothing I could do about that. I guess I could send more blues over to be the bridge. Probably not worth it. I don't mind. Oh, I just finished it, yeah. Also, um, I'm now that it's too late, I'm realizing you didn't have to do that with the blues, but oh well. Yeah, I didn't think so, but... You, well, no, I'm just saying you, you could have just thrown them up from the water. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yep, one of them died. That's uh, fantastic. That one should also get a name. Uh, Cl Clippin... Uh, I don't want to go with Clive, uh... Clint. Clint and Clint, yeah. <laughs> like Clint's hints. Uh. I can't find the fucking. up here? It, it, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, every time you're doing that, I'm like, uh, I don't know what you're looking for, so I'll just kind of <laughs> let you do your thing. 
<sighs> okay. Guess we're done. That sure was a day. I mean, it was fine. It was though. fine, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> They're all doing like a little antsy dance. So, opinion on Santa's. <laughs> no. If you had asked that during oh. Frontier Cavern when I was not pissed off, then maybe. Like, before I got pissed off. But uh, now, now it's not season appropriate. Oh, okay. <laughs> song is just the psychic battle with fucking Cartman, King of Space. <laughs> so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I so, knew there was a King of Sweets somewhere. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. You should look at your death totals. Let's see. Alright. So, falling through the floor is a battle, huh? Apparently. <laughs> I guess it doesn't know what else to call it. <laughs> Good. I like the saga of the president running away from the deck collectors. Yeah, he eventually meets up with a bunch of little animals, and uh, <laughs> in the vanilla version, he's just like, you know, I've, I've befriended some animals. They, uh, I, I, he just says something about like, you know, they're actually pretty cute. Um, and then in either Pikmin two fifty one or the Kaizo one, I don't remember <laughs> which. They changed all of the like emails very slightly, <laughs> and they were almost never funny. Okay. But in that one, they just changed it to the animals are kind of hot. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Oh, Chris, okay. Anyway, have a good day. See you next time for I don't know what. Diddly days. Yeah. Bye. The world is your oyster. Indeed.